how can you tell the difference between COVID-19 and the common cold and flu? Well, this is the question that most people have as the cold and flu season inches closer and the COVID-19 pandemic is still growing. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the similarities and differences between cold and flu and COVID-19. So keep watching. Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Sidra and welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist. So if you have been hearing about the importance of getting flu shot this year, there is a good reason behind it. Because along with wearing a mask, social distancing and practicing hand hygiene, flu shots are one of the strongest defenses against the twindemic. Now you may wonder, what is a twindemic? Well, as we are going into the cold and flu season with COVID-19 still spreading, we are at a risk of an epidemic and pandemic happening at the same time. Normally, we tend to see an increase in hospitalization during influenza season and combined with COVID-19, uh, that may stretch the resources. But the key point is, how can we tell whether we have cold and flu or COVID-19? See, influenza and COVID-19 are both contagious respiratory illness, but they are caused by different viruses. So let's see some key differences between flu and COVID-19 so we can respond accordingly should we get any one of these diseases and we can wisely use the resources. So both COVID-19 and flu have varying degrees of signs and symptoms ranging from no symptoms to severe symptoms. And there is a significant overlap between the symptoms of flu and COVID-19. Firstly, they are both respiratory illnesses. Both can have common symptoms like fever, chills, cough, um, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, uh, fatigue, sore throat, a runny or stuffy nose and body aches. Also, some people may have a vomiting and diarrhea, though this is more common in children than adults, but the symptoms still exist. Another key point is that both COVID-19 and flu can spread from person to person between people who are in close contact with one another, which we typically say within about six feet of each other, and both the viruses mainly spread by droplets made when people with illness like COVID-19 or flu, um, pe these people cough, sneeze or talk. Now we know that these droplets can land in the mouth or noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs and thus cause the disease. That's why practicing social distancing, staying at least six feet apart is very important. And see, it may be possible that a person can get infected by physical human contact, for example, shaking hands or by touching the surface or object that has virus on it and then touching his or her mouth, nose or possibly eyes. So be very careful, wash hands, uh, do not shake hands with people and maintain social distancing. Now, both flu virus and the virus that causes COVID-19 may be spread to others by people before they even begin to show symptoms. Or people who never developed the symptoms of these diseases could still be infected with the viruses. As far as high-risk population is concerned in both diseases, older adults, people with certain health conditions or certain underlying medical conditions, and a pregnant women are at higher risk of getting the diseases. the spread of transmission is an important point of difference between both flu and COVID-19 virus. Like if a person has COVID-19, it could take them longer to develop symptoms than if, we, if, than if they had flu. Meaning typically a person develops symptoms of flu anywhere from uh, one to four days after infection. While if a person has COVID-19, typically symptoms may develop after five days uh, of being infected but symptoms can appear as early as two days after infection or as late as 14 days after the infection. And this time range can really vary. 
As far as the difference in symptoms is concerned, the main difference could be change or uh, loss of taste or smell in COVID-19. Now remember, if a person has COVID-19, they may be contagious for a longer period of time than if they had flu. While most people uh, with flu are contagious for about one day before they show symptoms, but normally children and adults with flu appear to be most contagious during the initial three to four days of their illness, but may remain contagious for about seven days. All right, so now that you know the main similarities and differences between the COVID-19 and influenza, you can proceed accordingly if you get any of these symptoms. See, most of the symptoms of both the diseases overlap, like both can present with fevers, chill, cough, uh, muscle and body aches, fatigue and headache. Now, one symptom that is more unique to COVID-19 infection uh, like I mentioned before, is the loss of taste or smell. So that's a key difference to keep in mind. So now here the question arises that what should you do if any of the similar symptoms of the diseases appear in you? Should you get tested right away? See, as of right now, the only way to tell the difference between COVID-19 and influenza is by testing. And knowing this differentiation is very important as there are isolation requirements to prevent the transmission of COVID-19, while with influenza, no isolation is really required. Since as of right now, there is no vaccine to prevent the COVID-19 or there is no proper treatment to treat it, and it can result in dreadful, life-threatening complications. So it's very important that you find out whether you have influenza or COVID-19. So this is what I recommend that until we have proper vaccine or proper treatment available for COVID, continue to take the precautions suggested by CDC, stay home if you have fevers or chill, uh, any new cough is developed or you show any new symptoms of shortness of breath. And should that happen, you should arrange to be tested for COVID. The bottom line is follow CDC guidelines for the prevention of COVID, continue to wear masks, practice social distancing and social hygiene. But you know what, with everything going on, I think the good news is that social distancing and wearing masks may mean a milder flu season this year. And also particularly getting flu shot this year is very important as that can reduce the potential for a twin pandemic of influenza and COVID. And you know what, if that occurs, it could further overwhelm the healthcare system. So let's stay safe, avoid large gatherings, and continue to wear your mask. And lastly, thank you so much for hanging with me till the end of this video. Please do share this video and spread awareness to save people around us. Keep smiling and stay healthy. Until next time, take care. Bye.